Did you know people hate Ronda Rousey just because she talked about her mental health? I say that because I posted a clip from a video I made last month and put it on Facebook and it absolutely blew up. You may have seen it. It's the video where she loses her first fight and then she talks about afterwards the feelings that came along with that. What was troubling to me was the amount of comments that Ronda Rousey got that were just straight dogging her. I was so glad to see this when it happened. She deserved it. She was a poor sportsmanship. Don't feel sorry for her. Poor little brat acts like a bully and gets her world rocked. Get a grip and grow up. Can't give it but can't take it. Okay, am I supposed to feel sympathy? This post confirmed a personal theory that I have that most humans don't view celebrities as humans. And also that with enough money, you can buy yourself out of never having to be unhappy again. But let me tell you why that is dead wrong. Before we get into it, I do want to say that not everybody hates Ronda Rousey. In fact, there's probably like a thousand comments on this post and probably 20% of them are just like really nice, kind, thoughtful comments about Ronda Rousey. Also, I don't typically make videos about negative comments on my videos because I get comments like this every day and it's fine, it's just part of it. But these comments were specifically about Ronda Rousey, and I think that these ones specifically, we have something that we can learn from them. Now, the first type of comments that I want to focus on are the ones who were talking about Ronda Rousey feeling suicidal after losing just one fight. Like this person. Every great athlete knows that they can't last forever on top. Becoming suicidal after it happens seems emotionally weak. That last part really makes me cringe. But what about this one? That disappointed me. For one loss? Seriously? Seriously? One loss? So all of those other girls that you beat their ass should have thought this way? Well, no. We are all different and we all experience loss and heartbreak differently. And just because you feel suicidal does not mean that you are emotionally weak. Honestly, that sounds like something Andrew Tate would say. I will say this, however. Ronda Rousey made a mistake, and I guarantee she would agree with what I am about to say. She let herself get wrapped up in the hype of, you know, Ronda Rousey. So much so that being the best female fighter in the world became her entire identity. When you mistakenly create an identity for yourself around one thing and then life takes that one thing away from you, you are going to feel like crap, to put it lightly. People saying she doesn't deserve to get pity obviously don't understand identity crises. You call me when the thing that gives you your identity and meaning is taken from you and tell me you're not thinking about eating a bullet too. I'll wait. Exactly. I honestly didn't know about the severity of an identity crisis until my brother told me his story about how after tearing his ACL, he just felt so bad because his identity was being a phenomenally strong and great athlete and that was all taken away from him when he wasn't able to walk temporarily with that torn. We have to be careful that we don't wrap ourselves in an identity like this especially with something that can just be taken away in an instant. For example, I'm not a YouTuber, I'm just Kyle Mitchell. If I created my identity around this, that could be bad because YouTube can literally just take down my channel for whatever reason that they want and I've lost everything. So I don't want to identify myself as 100% I'm YouTuber. This next comment was obviously written by someone who is ignorant of the facts of the male and female worlds. If you can't handle it, don't fight, sweetheart. Men go through the same shit, except they're not sitting crying on a fucking TV show about it. That's because most of us men sit in silence about it. 
instead of doing what we should be doing and opening up to others around us and getting that out from just being buried inside. And according to the National Institute of Mental Health, as you can see here, males die by suicide far more than females do. And comments like this guy wrote really just strengthen the toxic masculinity circulating in the world. And I think this is a huge reason for why the male suicide rates are far higher than the female suicide rates. And the fact that this comment has 76 likes on it makes me realize that a lot of people believe in what this guy is saying even though it's 100% not true. And that is extremely disheartening. Then there's people like this. Big baby, you accomplished a lot. Stop whining. Pockets full of money. Life is good for you. Think about the people out there that can't provide for their families starving. People like you, I feel nothing. Real recognize real. Okay, two things here. One, money doesn't generate happiness. If you Google a study by Princeton between the relationship and money and happiness, you'll see that after you make about $75,000 a year, the happiness that you feel when you start to make more money completely goes away. And I think Rhonda is making just a few more bucks than that. And just because you have money does not mean that your life is easy mentally. A lot of people seem to think that if you have money, you aren't going to go through any challenging times or experience any mental health struggles. Or at least they think that you shouldn't go through or experience those things. The thing is, is that no matter how rich and famous you are, you are still a human being with emotions and challenges. Just like me, just like you. So when people say things like this, Boo hoo, you lost one fight, you give up that easy. My word, life is full of defeats. It's how you get back on the horse. You're not a champion, you got humbled, and this is how you respond. Don't worry, look at your bank account and have a few margaritas on the beach. You are still lucky, have a financially stable life, which about 70% or more of us don't get. Get a grip. It makes me think that their whole world is just based on money and that if they can achieve a certain level of money, that all their problems will go away, which honestly makes me very sad. Now, the second thing I don't like about the comment that I shared earlier is the advice this person gives. Is it good to practice gratitude? Yeah, absolutely. I think that's what this person is trying to do. It's trying to show them like, hey, look on the bright side, you have X, Y, and Z. But a good rule of thumb is to never tell someone who is in a crisis state, like Ronda Rousey was, that other people have it worse than them. Yes, this is true. But is this helpful to someone? It absolutely is not. Another pattern that I noticed in the comments is that a lot of people thought that she was doing this for sympathy, for attention. This is why society is so jaded. Everyone out here telling their world their problems. It's sad she thought this, but it shows why she never was a true champ. A true champion shows perseverance through a loss, adversity, and pain. This is her getting sympathy. Well, that is what a true champion does. I agree. And I also think that that is what Rhonda did and is doing. She didn't quit. She didn't even attempt suicide, as far as I know. And the fact that people are hounding her because she's talking about her struggles and that being the reason why the world is so messed up is absolutely ridiculous. Do you understand how many people Rhonda inspired by talking about this? How many people decided not to attempt suicide after watching Ronda Rousey talk about this? How many people no longer feel alone with suicidal thoughts after hearing her? I would say it's an incredible amount. So yes, I think we should be talking about this stuff because I think there's nothing worse than one struggling with this type of things, whether it's suicidal thoughts, depression, anxiety, struggling with any of that stuff, and then on top of that, feeling like you're the only one. That's the worst feeling. So share your story and give hope to others. 
Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this clip. I hope you learned something from it. If you see something that I talked about that maybe you don't agree with, or maybe you really agree with, or you think I forgot a point, mention it down in the comments. I'm always willing to hear both sides, whether it's stuff I don't agree with or stuff that I do. Maybe you'll change my mind. I don't know, but I'm always open to that stuff. So please leave me a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, put a like on this video, and then, I don't know, maybe share it with someone that you think would find it interesting and entertaining and valuable. I will see you all next week. Peace.